We work with companies from the earliest stages, two people in a garage, all the way to going public and beyond. And one of the most common topics of conversation, especially around financings, is pro rata. My name is Mike Bernal, and I'm one of the partners here at Sequoia. Literally, pro rata means in proportion. The way that I think about it is, imagine you're graduating from college, uh, you have a roommate, you get a two-bedroom apartment, and one bedroom is a little bit bigger than the other. Uh, you could decide to split it 50-50, or you might say, you know what, I have the bigger bedroom, so maybe I'll pay 60% of the rent and you'll pay 40% of the rent. Now imagine when it comes to the utilities, the electrical, uh, the, the garbage and the like, you could split it 50-50 or you could say, you know what, we're splitting the rent 60-40, so we'll split the utilities 60-40 as well. And that would be splitting utilities pro rata. In a venture capital context, it usually refers to a right that an investor might ask for to invest in future rounds of financing proportional to their ownership. So imagine you're founding a company with two of your friends and you decide to split the company, split your ownership in the company equally. So each of you owns a third of the company. And imagine you have no employees for the sake of simplicity. Now, you go out and you raise a Series A. Uh, you decide to sell 25% of the company to a new investor. And as the end result, each of you now own 25% of the company uh, because you've been diluted down to that, but you still own equal amounts. And then the Series A investor owns 25%. Now let's say you then go out and you decide to raise a Series B and you decide to sell 20% of the company to a new investor. If the Series A investor does not have pro rata rights and decides not to sort of invest more, then everyone will own 20% of the company at the end. Each of the three founders will own 20%, the Series A investor will be diluted from 25 to 20%, and the Series B investor will own 20%. Now if the Series A investor has pro rata rights and they exercise them, they can choose to invest on top of what the Series B investor is investing to, quote, protect their ownership. And so in that world, the Series B investor would still own 20%, the Series A investor would own 25%, and each of the founders would only own 18% instead of 20%. There can be great reasons for sort of granting this right, but it does constrain the amount of the pie that you can use to attract new employees and to attract new investors. So it's something that founders should be educated about and should be thoughtful about as they sort of grant this right.